guys, Jonah here, back with another beer review, and uh, yeah, I'm going to do another beer from the Beer on Trend um, magazine, which was a couple of months ago, but this, that's the last I'm going to use that, because there's no point in using it, because it doesn't have the information that we need um, about the beers. It's on the screen over there. That's no good for you, dear viewer. So I'm going to do the best I can <laughs> with uh, with what I've got. And speaking of cans, there it is. Uh, the beer we're doing today, ding, 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 is a scarecrow kind of monster. Uh, two chefs brewing. Uh, and this one's called Crop Collector, multi-grain IPA. And I guess the grain is why um, the scarecrow is up there which is cool um but it does have some propaganda so i'm gonna gonna read that with you you might have to move this thing it's a multi-grain ipa as we said let's get medieval uh with a modern twist uh this beer is inspired by traditional gruets and coit beers um that were brewed in the netherlands uh during the medieval well during the middle ages it says there i won't even read that off the screen my god <laughs> the time before hops um where other things were used uh grew it is named um with herbal mixtures that they used to use instead of hops that is uh with the beer uh coit beer okay interesting also used uh herbs in the mix and their construction uh, with a malt bill of oats and wheat. Ah, very interesting. So things come around and go around as we go through all the different periods, etc., etc. Uh, monster, monster IPA. Interesting. Oh, okay, because that that dude is a monster, the scarecrow. Oh, it says some other stuff here as well. Uh, we created this tasty brew. You know what? Right. I don't know if I can read all of that stuff. Let me read it off the can because it might be easier. Oh God, my eyes are terrible. We created this tasty brew as a homage to these old school beer styles. Hmm? Okay, fair dues. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Local ingredients, etc., etc. Right, what's about, tell me about this beer, damn it. Uh, six types of grain, uh, wheat, oats, spelt, make for a, a rounded and smooth body maize rye add some spiciness yep uh that's only five where's the sixth one that's weird hmm. okay oh i guess it's got malted barley in as well it doesn't say it has but I, I imagine it has um the hops are simcoe and nelson savant my god that's absolutely interesting it's like ridiculous right let's wipe this like my brow it needs a good wipe after that jesus christ but let's go back to this dude again um which is pretty cool um so i usually get wine kind of things over um and it's quite light but then sibco is quite juicy so this be interesting oh and look at the top it has a gold top which is pretty cool my god it's all going a bit oh jesus it's all going a bit pear-shaped shall we say and this can was very tall so i'm opening it carefully that famous place in wales carefully you see isn't it blodders <laughs> um and that's quite topical considering what's happening in the news at the moment carefully i think um i think old hugh is from swansea but anyway oh that is that's nice that's more hoppy than i thought anyway there we go gonna do one of those cheeky things not too much on the nose um just under a finger's head we'll call that three quarter finger but lovely white fluffy bubbles there and as you can see frosting up the glass already because it's been in the fridge for a couple of days but it is not clear it's not fully 
opaque either. You can see through it, but you've definitely got haze on that bad boy. Oh, and I am getting that wine kind of thing coming through. So possibly, possibly the Nelson in dry hop. Who knows? Looking forward to this one. Different kind of IPA. How strong is this one? Uh, I didn't tell you. There's so much information on there, which is good. Don't don't get me wrong, but ah, it's in one of those red balls. There we go. Five point five percent ABV, uh, and it even says monster series. So I guess that guy there is the monster. Although an alien spacecraft coming in from the side. Bit bizarre, isn't it? Right, cheers and beers. I'm mumbling like an old buffoon, dear viewer. You wouldn't want that. Cheers. Some would say I do that all the time. Wow. Okay. Quite hoppy. A lot of residual sweetness there. Wow, good amount of hot bitterness, but this one's not, I don't think, it's an IPA, so it's going to have a shed load of hops in, but it's not what this is about. This one's more about the grain, obviously, and there's lots of weird things going on. There is some creaminess, and there's a, there's a a line on the side of the glass, which is always nice to see, which I put down to the wheat and oats in predominantly in, in modern style beers. But this, there is that spiciness from the rye as well. And I guess in a similar way, the spell. But what's giving that sweetness? What's giving that sugary thing? Hmm, it tastes very sweet. And it's hoppy, but it's not superbly hoppy. Um, and it's not superbly juicy either. So I think the hops are playing second fiddle here um, to the malt. Good hot bitterness charge, but instantly the sweetness is there. I think it's a bit too sweet, um, if I'm being totally honest. Um, and it does taste a bit like a juice. Uh, uh, on the on the thing, it said sort of pineapple juice, and, and I do, yeah, I do get that. But it's all... And then, that weird spiciness it's a it's kind of like um a sweet biscuit um you know sometimes if you eat those biscuits and they've got obviously lots of sugar in but they've got some different grains in there um but it just yeah for me that's far too much sweetness there and the only reason really that it, sh it would be there is to balance the the kind of hoppiness and it's not that hoppy i mean it is a hoppy beer i can taste the hops in there but it's not like obscenely hoppy like um a west coast um ipa in the in the noughties they used to be ridiculously hoppy over 100 ibus i think that my my best was about 150 ibus and my mouth was like puckering up from the bitterness um, and you did need a bit of residual sweetness, usually coming from crystal malt in those days. But I don't know what's going on here. It's not very well balanced, in my humble opinion. Dear viewer, if you can get hold of one of these, why not try it out? It is the Two Chefs Brewing Monster Series, and this one's called the Crop Collector. I've had quite a few beers from the two chefs, and they're from uh, Amsterdam, I believe. 
uh, definitely from Holland or the Netherlands, shall we say. Um, they are definitely a trendy brewery. Um, although I haven't been to their brewery. I've been to Amsterdam a few times. But I've never actually been to this particular... I haven't been for years, like over 10 years. Um, but yeah, I quite like to uh, to go to this brewery. In fact, one of my friends from work is actually in Amsterdam, I think, at the moment. So, shaman to you. Uh, she's a DJ, I believe. Wow. So, yeah, really sweet, juicy. That orangey thing is there from the Simcoe. Um, but there is a bit of pineapple there. Um, but it's like pineapple juice, but sweet pineapple juice. It's, it, it's very bizarre. And I think maybe, um, I'm not suggesting they put extra uh, sugar in mixed in with the, the malt, but the amount of malt, perhaps, um, versus water and the residual sugars, especially the long chain ones that haven't fermented out, pardon me, still definitely in this beer, it's absolutely shocking. It's a monster, um, as they say. This has been a uh, a slightly surprising one to be honest i wasn't expecting this beer to be very sweet but it is the two chefs brewing scarecrow crop collector multi multi-grain ipa ridiculous you can have a wee look on the back um no it just says smooth body it says well-rounded and smooth body that is not what I'm getting here. Pretty smooth, but it's obscenely sweet. There we go. <laughs> Another beer review down um, from Beer 52 box from, was it one month ago? No, a couple of months ago, I think, uh, from the Beer on Trend. It is what it is. Um, not quite to my taste, to be honest. I used to have a sweet tooth, but not anymore. <laughs> not since the diabetes. <laughs> Anyway, this has been Uncle Jonah drinking beer so you can enjoy, so you can drink beer too. Um, drinking the good and the bad, surfing the sea of beer. Take care of yourself, guys, and we'll be back with another beer review real soon.